President Hamid Karzai addressing tribal leaders on a recent visit to the northern province of Kunduz, a place where levels of violence are high. The Afghan leader has been making a series of these appearances, taking questions from the audience, some of whom are clearly unhappy with his government's policies. It's part of the run-up to what's being called the Peace Jirga, a national meeting in Kabul now set to take place in mid-May. The nation of Afghanistan, represented by all 13 categories from all ethnic groups, from all provinces, from all regions, from all categories, will be represented in this Jirga and they will advise the President of Afghanistan on what to do with the armed oppositions, who are our armed opposition, and what, how many categories can they be divided with which one of them we can begin peace talk. When the peace jirga takes place, this room will be transformed, packed with tribal leaders from across Afghanistan. A jirga is the traditional way in this society to solve disputes, and that's why they're trying to come here to solve the complex problems of this war-torn nation. The only problem is that the Taliban and its allies are boycotting this event. A former Taliban minister, who's now a senator in parliament, says the meeting will not help Afghanistan on a path to peace. Ordinary Afghan people, the silent Afghan people, will not benefit from this sort of jirga. It will just mean more disappointment. They have now been waiting for over 30 years for peace. Preparations for the event are well underway, but some believe the fact it's now been postponed until after President Karzai's trip to Washington suggests foreigners may be interfering in an Afghan process. Others complain this jirga can only make recommendations. A real traditional jirga, they say, has decision-making powers. I'm believing that the jirga in this condition is not benefit for the situation of Afghanistan and not able to resolve the problem of the, the Afghanist people, but it is damaging the hope of the people, damaging the, the credibility of the Jirga. Jirgas have been part of the decision-making process in Afghanistan for centuries. In 2002, elders from across Afghanistan endorsed Hamid Karzai after he'd first been chosen as president. But the Jirga, which will be held here, is already controversial, with some even claiming that tribal leaders who are critical of the Karzai government are not being invited. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Kabul.